Welcome to Mathematics with Ams, Grade 12, Summing of an Arithmetic Series. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Summing the terms of an arithmetic series. An arithmetic series is a sum of an arithmetic sequence. 5, 7, 9, 11 is an arithmetic sequence. And 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 is the sum of that sequence. So there is a common difference of 2. We will use the formula below to calculate the sum of a finite arithmetic series. Look at the first formula. Sum to n equals to n over 2 square bracket 2a plus 9 minus 1d or sum to n n over 2 square bracket a plus l where l is the last term so the first formula is for an infinite series and the second is for a finite series now where do these formulas come from consider the following example evaluate the arithmetic series sum to eight terms 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 there are eight terms so you write down the first eight terms, you call it A. Then you reverse the sequence. So you write it from back to front. 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and call it B. So we reverse it. Then we add the two, A plus B. So sum of 8 plus sum of 8 is twice sum of 8. Then 3 plus 17 is 20, 5 plus 15 is 20, etc., etc. So they all add up to 20. So there are eight twenties, number of eight. Then we divide by two and we get 80. So the above method can be used to derive the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series. So let's do the proof. And we call it theorem one. So we must prove that sum to n is n over 2 square bracket 2a plus n minus 1d. So let's do the proof. So the proof will be based on what we've discussed a few seconds ago. So we write down the sequence a, then a plus d, a plus 2d, and so forth, and so forth, until you get a plus n minus 3d, a plus n minus 2d, a plus n minus 1d, and call it equation 1. Then we reverse the sequence. So it is a plus m minus d, a plus 2, a plus n minus 2d, a plus n minus 3d, plus, 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 a plus 2d, a plus d, plus a. And we call it equation 2. Then we add the two equations, and then we get twice sum to, sum to n terms. 2a plus n minus 1d plus 2a plus n minus 1d, etc., 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 n times. Right? So then, so we have n of the 2a plus n minus 1ds. Then we divide by 2 and we put the 2 under the n, and that's how we get the formula. It is possible to derive a formula to calculate the sum of a finite arithmetic series consisting of n terms. So the formula can be expressed as follows. Sum to n terms of n over 2 is a plus a plus m minus 1d. The last term L is the nth term. And remember L from a previous lesson is a plus n minus 1d. So you just replace that with n, L. So the formula for a finite series is then n over 2 a plus L. Of course, the proof of this theorem is not compulsory, but it's always good to understand and know where the formula is coming from. Let's look at the example. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the series, negative 1 plus 3 plus 7. Now, it is arithmetic because if you say 3 minus a negative 1 or 4 minus 3, in both cases you get a D, which is 4. So you write down the formula and do your substitution. So n is 20, a is negative 1, and of course d is 4. You can use your calculator to get the answer of 740. Let's look at another example. Calculate the sum of the following finite series. 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 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 
one 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 so this one got a last term so therefore you can use a formula where l is involved you can either you can you can choose any of the two formulas it doesn't matter however we need to find out what is n so to find n you must use the general formula tn equals to a plus n minus 1 d then tn is 1 1 1 a is 3 and D is 2, of course. Then solve and make N the subject, and there you get N 55. And now you can use a formula for finite series or infinite. It doesn't matter. Both should work. Then do your substitutions. N is 55, A is 3, and L is triple 1. And therefore, the answer is 3,135. Let's look at the following example. Calculate the sum of 7 minus 2m starting by m equals to 2 and ending in a 100. So we first need to write down the series. So we have to expand this. So when we expand it, first let m be a 2 and then you can, well, let's do the first 3 at least. Don't have to do all, all 98. Right, so there you are. I mean, all 99. So 7 minus 2 times 2, plus 7 minus 2 times 3, plus 7 times 4, 7 minus 2 times 5, etc., etc., etc. And of course, you can also get the last term, 7 minus 2 times 100, because you know the last term is 100. So you get 3 plus 1, negative 1, negative 3, plus, 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 until the last term minus 193. Right, so now you have those terms, and now you can choose a formula for a finite series, because this is a finite series. So n over 2, a plus l. So n is 99. Remember, where is 99 coming from? Remember the formula from a previous lesson? Number of terms is top minus the bottom plus 1. So it's 100 minus 2 plus 1, and that's how you get 99. Do your substitutions. And you get the answer negative 9,405. Or you can use the formula for uh, infinite uh, series and you'll get exactly the same answer. And let's look at the following example. How many terms of the arithmetic series sequence 4, 7, 10, 13 will add up to 175? So now the sum is given. But it is arithmetic because 7 minus 4 is 3, 10 minus 7 is 3, so there's a common difference of 3, A is 4, and the sum is 175. So use the sum formula and replace sum to n terms with a 175. n is the unknown, A is still 4, and D is still 3, so n is the unknown. Simplify, you can multiply by 2. Simplify the bracket first as far as possible, then you can multiply by 2 on both sides, then you end up with a quadratic equation, which you can either factorize or use the formula you can decide. Then you get two n values. You get n equals to 10 and n equals to negative 35 over 3. Now remember, n represents the number of terms, so automatically it cannot be negative, so the only answer is then n equals to 10. Right, look at another example. Uh, determine n if the sum, the f r star, the bottom number is 1 and the top number is n and the general term is 6r minus 1 equals to 456. So the sum is given as 456. But let's first expand and let's get the first three terms at least. So, the, so it will be 6 times 1 minus 1, plus 6 times 2 minus 1, plus 6 times 3 minus 1, etc., etc. And the last term is 6n minus 1. And all of them add up to 456. So it is 5 plus 11 plus 17 plus 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 6n minus 1 equals to 456. So this is an arithmetic series with a5. We can see that. And of course, because a common difference. Right, so the number of terms is then, remember the, the rule, top minus bottom plus 1, right? So it is n minus 1 plus 1 equals to n. So therefore, n. So we write down your sum formula, replace sum with 456, and n remains n. 
substitute a 5 and of course d6 simplify the brackets right multiply by 2 get your quadratic equation either factorize or use a quadratic formula and then you get n equals to 38 over 3 which is a negative number or n 12 so remember n represents the number of terms so automatically the negative number which is also a fraction is not allowed so therefore n equals to 12. then this is a very good uh, exercise you can work through Please make sure you work through this exercise and also the one on the next page and then the answers are given. Right, so here's the solutions to the exercise. Like I said, it is in your own interest that you must make sure you work through all the exercises and then mark your work. Good luck. All right, this is Ahmed Suleiman from Mathematics with Amps. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe.